was referring to a 2024 study where they sleep deprived people for 21 hours, gave them a high dose of creatine, and they did see that the high dose of creatine helped offset the brain changes that happen when you're sleep deprived. So when you're just feeling dopey and... ADHD and creatine, let's talk about it. We do have quite a few studies showing a very positive impact when you take creatine, usually five to 10 grams a day, and its impact on brain health. Go back, watch that creator's entire video because she gave you some of the good studies that I love and I will link to her right here. So I have ADHD. I'm also a nutrition scientist and a board certified naturopathic endocrinologist. And I started taking creatine for the muscle gains. Well, just to help my physical performance when I work out. And what I discovered is that it helps with what I call the luteal lag. That is when our brains start to slow down, you feel like you're less motivated, less focused. You're like, who am I anymore? Due to the dropping levels of estrogen compared to the rising levels of progesterone. Now we don't have research specifically on ADHD or ADHD women in their luteal phase because like, of course, why would we study women? But I've used this personally and I've used it with patients and I've seen tremendous outcomes. Now, it's a supplement, so always check with your doctor because I am a doctor, but I'm not your doctor. So don't take medical advice from people in the internet. This is not medical advice. Here is how it is typically dosed though. So after you talk to your provider and they give you the green light, typically we are dosing at five grams a day. I like to make a functional beverage where I have electrolytes, creatine, and magnesium because I suck at taking pills and I'm super lazy and I forget things. You probably relate. After about two weeks, you may want to increase your dose to 10 grams a day. I stay at five grams a day. Most people are fine at five grams a day. In the study that Dr. Rhonda Patrick was talking about, they were doing mega dose, really high dose of creatine uh, because these people were seriously sleep deprived. But creatine is not without side effects and people can notice they get like puffy, bloated. They're like, what is all this water weight? And that's usually when we go past five grams. If you try this, if you've tried this, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know, has this helped you? This is how we know what questions to start asking and researching in the science is hearing from people's lived experiences.